So today we are reviewing the Delipop 30mW visual fault locator. Uh, this is a fibre optic cable tester effectively. So have a look in the box. We've got a pair of AA batteries supplied. We have the detector itself. We have a belt pouch. So detector can be kept on your belt for when you need it. If cable testing and optical fiber testing is your part of your job. You've also got a uh, wrist strap. There is a small hole here in the base of the detector to thread that through. And we've got this declaration with a small spec. Uh, unfortunately, a fair amount of this is not in English, so it's not that easy to read, but you can see the, the key characteristics. And then you've got a small replacement uh, space which goes inside the end under this connector here. So, uh, I've already put some batteries in this. I know it's supplied with some, but uh, in order to just show you. So this has got two settings here on the side, three if you include the off. Uh, but we've got glint and we've got CW. Glint effectively is a flashing mode. So that is designed to attract your attention if you've connected this up at one end of a fibre optic and you're looking through a bunch of fiber optics at the remote end if you run them through a building you're going to hopefully see this uh, at the other end I've kept the cap shut at the minute so that it's easy for you to see uh, and you can see the little indicator here and then if we push that through the off position to the CW that's basically continuous mode so this just gives you a constant 30 milliwatt uh, laser output now I have seen comments about this not being a laser, just being light. Well, yes, it, laser is light. Uh, you're not going to see a beam except where it actually hits uh, a target. So you will connect this up to your fiber optic at one end that you're testing for, and then a bunch of fiber optics at the other end. You're going to see this glow on the end or if you put something over the end of it you are going to see it. Now I know people have said can you use this as a laser pointer? Uh, effectively not because there is no lens, it's not a focused laser, it's not meant to be a fine point laser, it's a laser light uh, so anybody who's complaining that it's just a light effectively that is true but it is laser so it's a very uh, fine frequency of light which means that it travels very well and it is therefore very visible it doesn't uh, depreciate that much over distance as a normal light would so uh, very handy tool if fiber optic cable whether that's network fibers uh, I also use a lot of uh, optical Toslink cables at home for audio uh, which is becoming more popular and this allows you to just hook up on the end of one of those and track the other end so if you've got a bunch of them and you don't know which is which uh, this is definitely the tool for you so that again is the Delipop 30mW visual fault locator thank you